Let's get into some makeup favorites. Not gonna be a lot because, well, I don't know. So let's get into some makeup favorites. I'm only gonna include a few because I'm trying out some other stuff and I just wanna know, you know what makes my heart sing in the makeup department. So I'm only gonna put stuff that I'm truly, truly, truly loving right at this minute. First up is this lip liner. I'm wearing it right now underneath another lipstick that I'm going to talk about in just a second because it's also a favorite. And it's from Palladio. I'm gonna try and find out where I can find it. It's sand, the, the color is called sand. It's not sand-like to me, but it's an awesome lip liner like your lips, but better, a little darker, a little mauvier. Uh, so it's great, it's great under a lot of my lipsticks, especially when I want to change the tone of the lipstick to be a little brownier, rosier, I don't know. This stuff is great. And yeah, it goes on, it's a little difficult to apply, but I think this was literally $2, maybe $3, and it's a great color. I'm gonna try and find some other brands that maybe make this color, but I mean, if it ain't broke, why fix it, right? Next up is a lipstick that I cannot get enough of. Actually, a lipstick brand that I cannot get enough of. And I have another color by them. Lipstick Queen. I believe you get this at Space NK. I think Bloomingdale's has a lot of Space NK's, or they're online, or I don't know. I think they're, you, can you only get them at Space NK in America? I don't know, I'm assuming this is a British brand. This color. It's not green. It's actually a pink. And depending on who is wearing it, it changes tone a little bit. It's kind of like a mood lipstick. Right now on me, or whenever I put it on, it runs a little berry pink. I've seen on some of my friends, it comes up as a blue pink. It's just depending on the temperature of your body, how pink it gets. And I think it is an awesome gift to get because you literally can't go wrong with this color. It looks awesome on everyone, on everyone. Maybe not on Riley. Called Frog Prince. But this is an awesome, awesome color. I just love how it looks. It's always gonna give me that like pink toned, I, especially when I layer it over the sand lip liner and like a darker pink tone. I think it just looks awesome. The next lipstick I wanna talk about is also Lipstick Queen, and it is in Saint Barry. Ooh, look at that. Mm, mm, mm. Saint Barry, let's see. There we go, let's take a look. That is Saint Barry. Basically, Lipstick Queen has two lipstick lines. I think she has a couple of different lipstick lines, I guess, but in the Lipstick Queen collection, there's the Saints and the Sinners. And the Saints, I think, are about 10% pigment, so you get that nice, like, glossy color, and you can build it up a little bit, but it's not gonna be super pigmented. And the other uh, line is called the Sinner line, and it's I think it's like 90% pigment, so that's like the wow, my lips are here, people kind of lipstick collection. So I think that both of them are awesome. That's a Saint color. I don't have any of the Sinner colors. I have to try them. She's literally my favorite lipstick line. I think they're awesome. So I'll have to try out more. All right, on to the next. You guys have seen this before. It is the Laura Mercier Silk Cream Oil-Free Photo Finish Foundation. I think this is one of my favorite foundations at the moment. I put it on when I know I want to look good. Like, if I want a fuller, medium, well, full for me, but medium coverage foundation. This is what I go to. It's my one-stop shop, perfect skin in a bottle, and I love it. I think you guys have seen me apply it in the last Get Ready With Me video. Uh, guys, this is where it's at. Last up is actually a perfume. I guess that counts as makeup, and y'all, yes, I am 25, but it is Hollister's Peach Please Perfume. Is something coming on? I'm scared. I don't like noises that I don't know where they're coming from. Anyway, Hollister's Beach Please. I used to wear, back in the day, back in high school, Hollister's August. 
I don't know what was in that, but I was obsessed, obsessed with that perfume. It embodied everything I wanted my high school experience to be. It was beachy. I mean, I lived in the North Coast. I lived, I lived in the Northeast. So I don't know why I thought my life was beachy, but in my head, I was running around on the beach somewhere in California, which is where I am now, and just loved it. I was searching the interwebs just the other day, and this came up as Hollister basically remade it into Beach Please. I think it's slightly different, but it's a dead ringer for August, and I'll probably buy like 36,000 bottles of these just to hoard it, hold and have it. But I love it. Yes, I'm an adult, and I am buying Hollister perfume, whatever. It is nice and cheap, and it smells amazing. So if you're looking for like a good, Perfume. This is definitely summery. I'll probably I could probably get away with it in Southern California, but it's definitely on the summery side. It is awesome, and yeah. So those are my makeup favorites. Thanks for watching. I'll be coming back with um, probably some skincare favorites, probably some foundation favorites. I'll probably be doing some hair favorites. And girl, that is a whole nother video. So keep watching. Uh, yeah, please subscribe and like and comment and I hope to talk to you guys soon and thanks for watching Peace